What's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm super excited for this video. I have not posted for a while on YouTube. Um, super excited. So I'm going to be reviewing different EMT pants as far as work for women. I did pick a couple popular brands and styles and um, we all know, you know, being a woman in EMS or fire, it's really hard to find uniform pants that fit us correctly in regards to like our waist and our butt and thighs and all of that. So I'll be reviewing a couple kinds um, and then I'll tell you what my favorites are. So also I will be measuring myself first. So I did get a measuring tape here and I'm just gonna measure around like my tank top and some shorts just so you guys know. And then I will put the measurements in the description box below so you guys can kind of compare, see like what my measurements are and the sizes and then kind of adjust that for you personally. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, so let's get started measuring. Okay, so I got my measurements, I have them all written down on my phone, and now we're gonna go try on the pants. Okay, so the first pair of pants that I have is the 511 Women's Strike EMS pants. These are different than their regular ones. They are a size eight, which I typically am like a six or an eight in these types of pants that don't stretch. And I do get long, I am five seven. These are the relaxed fit. So try those on. Um, again, the price point, it's not on the tag. These ones were a lot more expensive than the regular ones, but I will put the prices in the description and on the video as well. Okay, so I just wore like a really sleek tank top so you could see. Um, these pants are really comfortable. The one thing I like about them is the length. You guys can see I'm 5'7", so they are pretty long. Um, these are already hemmed as well. The one thing I will say about these pants is they come up just a little bit shy of the belly button. Um, I did notice that I could get my thighs in them pretty easily. They're really stretchy in the thighs, but um, I guess the only downfall is this like space right here so they're a little big on the waist okay i did put a belt on just so you guys can see how it fits with the belt i do like the pockets here although they are velcro there's a lot of space in this pocket can get my hand in it fairly easily i do like how the trauma shears um, parts here have a button so you don't lose those and then the other thing that i really like about these is the pocket down here if i'm like down on the ground like this where i'm working on something it's a lot easier than getting in here or here to just get in that pocket right there and then as far as a squat test really really good range of motion i feel like these are actually really, really good pants, honestly. Um, I don't have too much discomfort in the crotch area. There is a good amount of space in here. However, if I were to size down due to the bigger waist issue, I don't think those would fit my thighs. So definitely um, size eight in these. I'm usually a medium in most leggings, but yeah, I actually really like these pants. The next pants that I'm trying are the women's under armor pants these ones i was really excited for um just because i do love under armor these are the women's um size 10 they are water repellent they don't really have like a style name on them but they're just the women's like work tactical pants so i got these ones in a size 10 just because i read the reviews and it said they ran a little bit small um the price point on these is 79.99 which for under armor I get that. <clears throat> okay, so as far as the Under Armour pants go, I do not like these whatsoever. Um, this is how low they are. They are so low rise. Like, I'm not sure if these are just for really short people. Um, even if I get them buttoned like that, like what the hell is this? And why are they so low like I'm sorry what the hell so yeah unless you want your entire butt crack to show not only that like the crotch is literally like this long so I don't know what kind of woman fits into these but um I don't like these at all 
they can butt in, but then I've got this big ass weird space. But I guess my biggest thing with these is they've got no crotch. They are really short. I'm 5'7", and I mean, they're just not even touching the ground. So maybe if you're a short or petite girl, but as far as these, absolutely not. Even if I put a belt on, I do not like my pants this low rise because when I'm trying to work on something, I don't need that to happen. So, um, yeah, I do not recommend this if you have a butt. Okay, next up are, ah, oh God, I'm blind. I'm fucking blind. Truth back, what the fuck? Okay, next up are the um, True Spec EMS pants. These are actually, so I wore True Spec like back in the day, but they were the originals. These are the Women 24 7 Series Expedition EMS pants. Wow, that's a long name. Um, these ones were a little bit more expensive. I got a size 8, and they are unhemmed. They did not have any other options except if you're short. But for us tall people, we have to hem them. So, true spec pants have this like really stretchy waistband in it, which I really like that you can kind of pull. Um, I just wish that it adjusted. So these are actually really big on me. Um, I'm apparently not a size eight in these. As you can see, I've got a lot of room around the waist right there. Um, I will put a belt on. Okay, so I got a belt on. As you can see, there's just like a little bit extra fabric on these, but they're comfortable. Here's the side with the belt on and the length. I really do like the length too for being 5'7". Like I said, these are unhemmed, but actually I think these are my favorite pair that I have tried on so far. Um, these and those first 5'11s. The thing I like about these is they're really, really stretchy in the thighs and then you have a lot of waist room and then that stretchy band. Here is my range of motion test. I really like these. Okay guys, so I'm like really, really stoked about this part. You have no idea. Look at this. Like what? These literally have mesh down the side of them, which is so cool. Not only does it like open up the leg, but it lets you breathe. So you can do it from the top or you can do it from the bottom. Really nice. Um, I would not recommend for if you're like working on a bloody patient or somebody with obviously a lot of body fluids um, cause you wouldn't want it to get in there. But this would be nice if you were like sitting around, standing around, if you're just hot. I really like that. Um, the other thing I like about these is I like how the rings on here are like really durable and they're button pockets instead of Velcro. So you don't have to worry about losing your stuff. These are really, really nice. The other thing is, I don't know if you can see, but excuse all the dog hair, but on the inside here, on the thigh, there's like a strip of just stretchy, soft material. So I really do like that as well, which kind of gives them a stretch around your thighs. So for these True Spec pants, I really like these ones a lot. These might be my favorite ones so far. They're actually a little bit more comfortable than the 511 strike pants. Um, as far as like the quality, I think they're both one and the same. I just really like that mesh feature. I like the button pockets and I like the stretch factor in the thighs. I'm not sure if I would go down a size. I don't mind using a belt for that little extra here, but I really like these. Um, the next pair of pants that I'm gonna be trying on are the first tactical um, women's EMS pants. I got these online from Galls. Um, these are a size 10 and tall because reading the reviews, it did say to size up on these. First impression when putting these pants on, um, definitely going to be big in the waist. Again, I've got an extreme amount of room right there. So these have an extreme amount of room right here, like a lot. Um, I'll try to put a belt on. Okay, so here's the first tactical pants with a belt on. Um, definitely helps a lot. They're still a little bit big and I have quite a bit of fabric. 
Um, as far as the range of motion test, oh, King, okay. hold on. <laughs> I'm about right there before I, it's really tight right here. Um, <laughs> okay, this is not going well. Okay. <sighs> um, okay, so these pants good quality as far as the fabric i do like that they have you know the buttons right there they are velcro pockets um range of motion is not so good you guys uh if you've got thighs it's gonna be a little bit rough right here like this is about as much as i can bring my leg up right there so i'm not sure but i think these would be fine for <laughs> working on the ground more just wanted to show you so these ones also have that lower pocket right there so you know if you're working down here or whatever you have that pocket right there um i will say though that this pocket is extremely small and i don't really know what you're going to put in it because i can barely fit my hand in there further than that these also have absolutely no nothing on the back if you put stuff in here so your stuff's probably going to fall out i'm not really sure what the purpose is of these besides for looks because i would not be putting anything in there they're pretty useless so these ones i would probably rate like in like a seven um i really do like these pants i feel like they're very good quality the only downfall is the restriction if you kind of have thighs or are bigger around here and the waist is pretty huge if i were to size down in these for the waist aspect there's no way in hell that i would fit my thighs in here because I'm already having a hard time, you know, just with the range of motion. But hopefully they'll wear in a little bit. Um, other than that though, I do really like the length on these. They are extremely long as well, if you are tall. The next pair of leggings, <laughs> leggings, as you can see, I wear leggings every day of my life. Next pair of pants is the 511 women's tack light ems pants these are like the cheaper ones than the strike pants um the relaxed fit i did get a size 10 and long i got a size 10 because i've had experience wearing these and i think i had an eight before they did not fit me whatsoever when i tried to put them on to review for this video not only that but i busted out of the thighs twice and i had to sew them so i figured maybe getting a bigger size would help okay so when putting on the 511 pants um Obviously, I'm still always going to have this area back here where there's a lot of space. As far as the front goes, um, I do remember these now. It's bringing back a lot of memories. Um, as you can see, there's like this weird extra fabric, but the seam really goes up the crotch area. They're not comfortable. Um, I've had a lot of friction in these pants in the size 8 that I had before to where they ripped literally right in here. Um, I feel like that would probably happen again. So going up a size helped a little bit with the thigh room. I'll put a belt on and then we'll do a range of motion test. Okay, range of motion test. It's as far as it's gonna go. <laughs> you guys, I feel like I'm like sitting into a chair. <laughs> Okay, um, yeah, not very much range of motion in these. Like I said, like I'm already pulling them down. They're just really uncomfortable. They really go up there. Um, chafing, really bad crotch area, gives you camel toe, kind of hurts, honestly, because it's not a comfortable seam. Uh, range of motion, poor, yep. You can hear all the Velcro in the back pockets cracking when I do that. So we don't like Velcro back pockets. Um, length, I really like the length. They're long. I do like the, you know, standard EMT pockets, which they should have. Material is really good quality. Um, I would probably only recommend these pants if you're like a skinny girl or um, don't have that big of legs. No, I don't think I would recommend these pants. Just scratch that. So the next pair of pants, they obviously look very worn in. That is because I have worn them. Um, these are the Dickies Women's EMS Pants. Uh, I believe they're the Women's Tactical Pants. 
Um, I did try to go on because these are old and they don't fit me anymore. You'll see they are a size eight, which is pretty true to size, but um, they were completely sold out. So I think they're pretty popular. The thing I like about these pants is they're super soft and then the length is unhemmed. So obviously if you're tall, you're not gonna have a problem there. One thing I really like about these pants is the stretchy waistband. You can pretty much stretch it and then it snaps back into place. It does not have buttons. It has a zipper and then the little like clasp things, um, which I don't mind. I would say that the crotch on this one does run a little smaller. They're not as high rise. So um, the camel toe, yeah, they are a little tight right here between the thighs. But like I said, I think sizing up in these would be perfect for me. As you can see, not a lot of space back here, so we'll put a belt on. So here's the pants with the belt on. Um, they look really nice. They're very, very kind of like, um, I mean, my thighs are, are pretty much to the limits in these because like I said, I got bigger since last time I was working. But um, the thing I like about these pants is the stretchy waistband. They're really flattering, I think. The only thing is they are a bit more low rise. That's what I would say about these. Range of motion test. Even with them being like pretty small, I still have quite a bit of range of motion. Like I don't feel like really um, restricted right in here. Like I said, the only thing about these pants is they are really tight right here just in this upper thigh area. So if you're gonna size up, you're probably gonna need a belt. Um, the other thing I'll say about these pants is the material. They're not a standard like EMS material, so things don't really just roll off of them. They're not like waterproof or um, have a blood barrier. So that's something that I guess would be like a safety concern. Um, wearing these pants, I have had blood or something get onto the pants and it does seep through. <clears throat> it doesn't have that protective material like the other EMT pants do. It's not that like thick material where things kind of are just sliding off of it. These actually, they will soak into it. Um, the other thing about these pants is I wore them maybe a year and you can tell how much they've already faded, especially in the knee area. So I'm not really a fan of like the fading because it just doesn't look as professional and they used to be really dark blue and they're not anymore. The last pair of pants are the Duluth Trading um, Work Pants. These ones, I had read in the reviews that a lot of women were using them for EMS. They're like an EMT style pant. Um, these ones for the price point, the tag is on them, they're $74.50. To tell you exactly, they're the Women's Duluth Flex Fire Hose Relax Fit Pants. So we're gonna try them on. Okay, so as far as these pants go, my first impression putting them on is that they feel really comfortable. Um, they're very form-fitting, the material's nice, they're, they come just below the belly button here. They kind of feel like jeans, actually. Um, I am going to put a belt on because we have some space in the back. So here's with the belt. The one thing I will say is the seam right here in the crotch um, is a little abrasive and a little bit um, kind of goes like this again. So I don't really like that front seam there. It's not very comfortable. Um, it's more like in the front than in the mid thigh, if that makes sense. Like the seams like right here instead of like in the actual crotch. So I'm not really sure about that. But as far as the range of motion, we'll do that. So range of motion, ooh, damn. These are freaking comfortable. Okay, I do think that wearing these all day, the seam is really gonna bother me right here. I'm not gonna lie. Um, it's really uncomfortable the way that it, it presses and just kind of goes up there. So I feel like I'd be pulling this down quite a bit in the front crotch area most of the day. Um, as for the length, the length is perfect for a 5'7 girl, as you can see. So these do have um, button pockets right here. So. I do like the button pockets. However, the downfall to these is I can barely, the band is really tight right here. Um, once you're in there, the pocket's pretty big, but it's just like getting stuff in there. They're pretty tight. Um, I don't really like these pockets. I feel like they're useless. I lose a lot of things being in those pockets. I do really like 
the back pockets because they're zippers. So back pocket does have zippers, which is nice. You won't lose your things. I hate Velcro back pockets. So all in all, I really do like these pants, but um, that seam is really uncomfortable. So I'd probably give these like a seven or a six as far as the seam goes. Other than that, they're really comfortable. They fit really nice in the butt and the thighs. It's just that seam. And then the other thing is, um, I don't think this material would be really good on an ambulance, honestly. I feel like if I were to kneel in something or something were to spill on me, it would just go right through these. Very lightweight. I would recommend these if you worked somewhere really, really hot and were like outside for long periods of time. But other than that, you don't really have much storage on these. You just have the pockets and then you don't even have like the trauma shear space. I wouldn't put anything in here. So I'm not really sure where you would put those. Okay, so this kind of concludes my pants try on. Um, just as a summary to recap, my favorite pants were the True Spec pants and the 511 Women's Strike EMS pants. So these were definitely my favorite ones, 511 Women's Strike pants, and then the True Spec 24-7 Expedition EMS pants. To recap, the first tactical pants were okay. Um, I probably would not wear these. If I were to buy them, I'd probably return them, and I would wear the more comfortable pants just because these ones were really awkwardly fit. As far as the Dickies pants, I really like these ones. I would get a size up just because I have had so much use out of them and I really do love them. They're flattering, just a little tighter on the thighs, but I would recommend these ones. For the 511, I would not recommend the women's tactical EMS pants if you're built anything like me or you're tall or you have thighs or you have a butt because these will blow out the thighs. Um, they're really uncomfortable. The bigger you go up, the bigger the waist, the smaller you go down, the thighs are just gonna bust out. Um, the Duluth trading ones that I have on, I would recommend them. I don't, I think maybe the seam could be worn in a little bit in the front, but they're just so comfortable and have such a good range of motion. Although they're not really an EMT pant um, for out in the field, just because the pockets, there's nowhere to put anything honestly, except for your back zipper pocket. And that's really it. As far as the Under Armour pants, I would never recommend these to anybody. These are complete trash. And I'm super disappointed in the Under Armour company because you can tell the material is good quality. And like, I mean, it's the effort for me, but um, yeah, they probably should not be making women's EMS pants. Just uh, a tip for the Under Armour people, like maybe make them for people who have vaginas. Um, well, that's all for my video, you guys. I really hoped that you enjoyed this YouTube video. I hope it was informative, helped you to pick out pants. Maybe my sizing helped you to compare and like find a pair of pants that you like or save money on ones you would have otherwise purchased and been like really disappointed in. But hopefully that helped. If you guys have any questions at all, just throw them in the comments and I'll get back to you or maybe somebody else who's tried the pants could get back to you. Um, other than that, you guys, thanks for watching this video and please like and subscribe and let me know what else you want to see.